I have been a sci-fi fan and a space junkie since I was a kid. Um, these are the kinds of movies and TV shows that I that I grew up on, and in fact, their scores to those films are really the reason that I became a composer in the first place. But then last summer, I, I got a call about this movie, Europa Report. Um, they were looking for a composer, and they sent along a rough cut of the film. And I watched it, and I was just blown away. Um, because of the, the, the attention to detail in uh, all of the science and, and the accurate way in which they depicted this journey. Europa Report, to me, is a film that exists right in between. Yes, it's a science fiction film, but the science is so based in fact. It's so well researched and, and, and the information in it is so current that I think it gives audiences a glimpse into what could actually be. challenge for me musically is that Europa Report is set up like a documentary. Um, more importantly, it's set up like a documentary that's made by the company that sent out the astronauts into space. So it took me a while to wrap my head around this. The way the music works is a character. I have to score the scenes for the audience in the room, but I also have to score the scene as if I were someone trying to spin the story a certain way. So there's this fine line that I had to balance. I worked very closely with the producers and with director Sebastian Cordero, trying to find a way to strike that balance. How can we tell the story and make it emotional so that the audience connects, but not make it so obvious that the audience feels like they're watching a movie? So my solution was to find places where the music could be very subtle and almost blend in with the sound design. I used a lot of um, synthesis and synthesizer programming to create very deep, oscillating sounds. These are sounds that when you watch the film almost feel like they're just part of the ship. You don't even realize that what you're hearing is music, but it is music because it starts to build on itself and I'm able to introduce emotional elements that heighten the tension or that uh, create that emotional connection with the characters. So on that side, you've got this very cold um, synthesizer-based sound design kind of music. On the other side, to counteract that, to bring that emotional connection, I wrote what, what I think is a very memorable theme. And ultimately, um, we found a, a small orchestral sound was the one that worked best to counteract that synthesizer quality. I worked with a string group of um, anywhere from four to 30 players. Um, and some soloists and some percussion. But essentially what you have is solo piano, strings, and synthesizers. And with those instruments, I can do the very cold suspense music, I can do the warm emotional music, uh, and everything in between. I'm really excited to see the audience reaction to this movie because there's really nothing else like it. I hope that it builds public support for the idea that we should go there. We should go to Europa and look under the ice and, and, and see what's there. We really do need to explore. That is our destiny, is to explore.
If the film Europa Report can play a small role in eventually getting the public support and the funding together to go there, um, I think that that's an incredible thing. And for me personally, to be involved in some capacity in that film, uh, it's a dream come true.